in the first time the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Four thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a Vagar warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukkar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Figara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet Command online. Mothership status report. Engineering online. Stand by to initiate main engine sequence. Main engines online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Setting drives to idle. Attention Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates bigger bomber strike force.
This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base. This is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in. Awaiting orders. Chimera Station is offline. The Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency Air launch under underway. Release crews stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tannis. Primary couplings released. Looking good. Green line confirmed. The Long range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. The Vega have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. Course set for the home world. The mothership must survive. Contacts. Get ready for company. Pride of Higara, this is Captain Soban of the fleet, Saren Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Our home. Children of Hygara. You are beaten. Two, three, six, and nine. This Stand sector is now under my control. Stand down and prepare for Vega occupation. Planetary defense grid I have come to claim what is mine. Return the second core and I will spare your home world. Higara can resist the Vega siege, but only for a limited time. The shipyard at Serum will allow us to rebuild our fleet. We must secure this asset before it falls to the Vega. Stand by for arrival at Serum.
the great harbor ship of Bentus, the last of the Bentusi. The time of prophecy is at hand. In the beginning, the great progenitor Sajuk forged the three cores to unlock the mystery of hyperspace. But the three became separated, and the progenitors faded from memory. For eons, the cores drifted apart until the first came to the Bentuzi. The second came to your ancestors. In their blindness, they became as the Vagar are now, and a great war consumed them also. Before their final hour, they secreted their core from the Emperor and carried it with them into exile. It remains in your possession. The core trinity must be united. The three will awaken Sajuk. Only the power of the great progenitor can defeat Makan and the Vagar. This is your destiny. Seek it out among the asteroids of Gena. The end time has begun. Farewell. The shipyard is safe and fully operational. It will remain here to reinforce the Hegaran defense fleet and maintain a supply line to Hegara. Entering dust cloud. Hyperspace module fully charged. Coordinates for the Gena system locked in. Our fate now rests with the Bentuzi. For thousands of years, the old Kith clans worshipped Sajuk as the great maker whose hands shapes what is. It appears he is neither god nor myth. He is real. And Makan knows this. Gena is a large asteroid field located beyond the outer rim, deep within the Vega reaches. The Bentuzi have given us the coordinates of the Oracle. Intelligence data indicates there is a large military installation protecting extensive archaeological dig sites. It is surrounded by hyperspace inhibitors. We have located a weak point. Prepare to disengage hyperspace. Oracle coordinates locked in. Data from the Vagar base confirms extensive archaeological digs are underway across this entire sector. 
The coordinates provided to us by the Bentuzi indicate the oracle is located here. We must recover the oracle before the enemy. Hyperdrive malfunction. Emergency override not responding. The oracle is interfering with the hyperspace nav systems. It has taken over our course. Stand by for emergency hyperspace exit. Assembling the fleet for hyperspace. Control of the hyperspace core has been released. When we entered hyperspace, the Oracle redirected us to its last known position. Using data retrieved from the derelict, we have been able to translate the Oracle memory banks. The wreckage appears to be the bridge section of a much larger progenitor ship. A powerful dreadnought ship is located within the aft section of the wreck. It is referred to as the Gatekeeper of Sajuk. Deep scan telemetry indicates this progenitor ship broke apart 10,000 years ago and has been drifting through this sector ever since. Hyperspace coordinates locked in. The movers are progenitor AI constructs. They know no age, no despair. All this time, they have tendered the derelicts of their masters. From their memory banks, we have learned that the progenitors were not indigenous to our galaxy. This section of hull was once a massive foundry where the three hyperspace cores were forged. Coordinates have been set for the aft section of the wreck where the dreadnought is located. The prophecy states, he who unites the three will unleash the great maker, Sajuk.
are translating the progenitor language. It is a repeating message as follows. The keeper is aware. The keeper understands. The keeper has seen the enemy. While ancient, the Dreadnought's control matrix and crew interface are compatible with ours. It has advanced weapon systems and a powerful phased cannon array. However, many of its systems are offline. Accessing the Dreadnought's memory banks, the ship seems to be the control mechanism for a progenitor artifact of some kind. We can use the Dreadnought to strike the Vega with overwhelming force. Captain Soban has given us the coordinates of a key enemy assembly point. The shipyard Nabal will rendezvous with us there. Prepare to exit hyperspace. There is a second Dreadnought. Makan has it. Engineering crew Echo 4 report partial control has been established. Stand by for update. Faced cannon array online. Destroyer complete. We cannot support any further units. Engineering reports damage. Fleet command, this is dreadnought control. Cannon array offline. Repeat. Cannon array offline. Attention fleet, Makan has found Balcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. Priority alert, jamming signal detected. A Vega carrier is on an intercept course with Captain Soban. The Vega have been defeated. Before being captured, Captain Soban activated an emergency tracking device. Using this signal, we will be able to locate his destination point. Stand by for hyperspace jump. We are tracking Captain Soban. He is being taken to a Vega facility where he will be subjected to interrogation. Our objective will be to rescue him. Friendly is under fire, moving in. There is only one way to destroy the Keepers. They must be taken contact. with us. Our task is now done, but yours remains. Power surge detected on Ventus. They are collapsing their quantum wave field to consume the Keepers in its blast. Ventus is going critical. They will not survive. Hyperspace initiated.
time has ended. Sajuk awaits beyond the gate of Balcora. The dreadnought will open the way. There, we must end what has begun. You must take our core and unite the three. This is our legacy to you. Farewell. They sacrificed themselves so that we might fulfill our destiny. The Bentuzi core will have survived the explosion. Telemetry indicates its most likely location to be just outside the blast radius. Be advised, the Vega will have detected the explosion. We can expect enemy contact. Hyperspace coordinates locked in. We have re-established contact with Captain Soban's tracking device. Far jump coordinates locked in. Captain Soban has the location of Balcora Gate. He has been taken to a rally point near the Vega outpost Thaddeus Sabah. We must mount a rescue operation before he can be interrogated. The outpost is heavily defended, but we have identified a weakness. We will hyperspace into a nearby nebula that will provide us with cover. Stand by for hyperspace exit. Information supplied by Captain Soban indicates Makan is heading for Balcora Gate. We must not allow Makan to escape. Initiate hyperspace jump when ready. Makan has fled to Balcora, a massive black hole cluster at the center of the galaxy. The vast gravity well of the black holes prevents all hyperspace activity within a 500 light year radius. However, there is a way into this inhospitable region of space. A progenitor hyperspace gate is located just outside the exclusion zone. This is the gate of Balcora the path to Sajuk.
can. You have done well. But I'm afraid you are too late. The Bentusi foresaw this. Sajuk will be mine. This is both my destiny and yours. The Dreadnought is communicating with the gate. The initialization sequence has begun. The gate is open. Stand by. You have brought the cause to me as I have foreseen. In doing so, you have fulfilled your purpose. Sajuk is mine. It is I who will unite the three. Warriors of the Vega Reaches, the moment of prophecy is at hand. Glory be to the Sajuka. Crew transfer complete. All systems prepare to power down. Main drives offline. Engineering offline. Navigation offline. Auxiliary power disabled. The mothership is standing down. Begin hyperspace core transfer. The core is away. Sajuk receiving crews. Stand by for core Trinity integration.
the Trinity is stable. Coordinates for Hegera locked. Scans confirm the final surface bombardment platform has been destroyed. Sensors indicate several Vega ships are fleeing to hyperspace. Hegara is safe. Victory is ours. Karen became the Sajukkar, the chosen one, and custodian of the three. Conflicts that raged for millennia came to an end, and a new age of discovery began. An age of great wonders and visions. But one secret remained. The Eye of Iran was discovered. It was opened by the power of the three. What lay beyond hushed every voice in the galaxy. A great network of hyperspace gates. An ancient system, perfectly preserved in the void, hidden from view throughout all of history. The age of Sajet has begun. <laughs> 